G'day guys, thanks for checking out the channel. Sorry I haven't done any videos in a while, but today's video is going to be on the Repco $49, that's Australian spray foam gun for car washing. Uh, long story short, I'm just hosing down the car here, so I'll just tell you what I'm about to review. Um, I've always wanted one of these, I use a gurney and the foam gun that comes with that, but I'm looking for something that I don't need to set up the whole kit for. Uh, something that's just quick and easy for a lot of cars that I do every week that don't really need the thorough clean as the spray gun on the gurney does. Um, so look, I've just hosed down the car here, giving it the weekly wash. Now I'm still using new finish shampoo, as previously stated. Um, I'm only putting in a capful, if that. Now this thing, this is the second time I've used it, but the first time on camera. This thing really pumps out some foam, considering it's just got the pressure out of the hose. Um, and in Australia, we do have quite good water pressure. Um, but, but look, first thing I'd recommend first is when you're filling this up, I would not use the water on a high pressure at all. Just let it trickle in. Um, just like washing the dishes, you do want a lot of foam, but the trouble is with the spray gun, you want the foam to come out of the gun itself, not right now. So the, the less foam that appears now means the product hasn't activated. That way when the gun goes on and it starts pumping through water, it'll activate and foam a lot more. So you can see right there, there's hardly any suds coming up. Um, but look, now I'm going to connect it to the top. Now the device on the top is connected to setting zero out of six. Zero being the most foam, six being hardly any. I've got it on zero so that I can illustrate more on camera what it's actually going to look like. Now from here, I'll just show you a basic uh, rundown of what it actually is. A little cap right on top there, screwed around a couple of times. Now all the fittings are high quality plastic and brass, which is I'm actually quite surprised for $49, it was pretty well made. Uh, just pops on, there's a bit of play there, but that's only when there's no pressure through it. Once the pressure goes on, it's fine. There's the nozzle, the nozzle set sideways so we can see the most amount of foam coming out. Now straight away, I'm actually really amazed just by turning on from garden tap whole hose water, the amount of foam that it's actually creating, it's hard to see it here because the sun's not the greatest, but um, one thing I do like about it is that even on a white car, you can see exactly where the foam is. It's foaming up nicely. Now, it's nowhere near that much as what a gurney does, um, but yet again, that again, the amount of pressure coming out of this, as you can see, it's just trickling out. It's not much at all. I'm um, using new finish in the shampoo there with the grit garden there as well, just the one bucket thing. So here I'm washing it. Straight away, what I like about this product is that once I've sprayed this stuff on, it actually does act as a nice lubricant for the sponge and the other shampoo to go over. And I'm noticing how much easier it is to clean the car. Granted, there's a lot more, you know, work doing this and setting it up, but I think a lot of this is more for show than practicality. That's just my honest opinion. Um, I'm doing the other side here, so you can see right there, you know, you turn it right back on, it's ready to go again. I spray it on the wheels, everything. This is just basic new finish car polish. Uh, shampoo, sorry guys. So all in all, I'm loving this product. 49 bucks guys.